Hello everyone, welcome. Last week I put a podcast, my first podcast up on the Vape Show channel. It's had quite a few views, so I just thought I'd upload it on here. Obviously there's no intros, there's not actually any video to watch, just a podcast, so I'll let you have a listen. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up at the end. Help this channel get up the analytics. You never know, we might one day get to 1K subscribers. Thanks for watching in advance. Catch you soon. So, hi everyone. This is my first attempt ever. I've decided I'm going to do a podcast. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, see what you think, see if it's worth doing again. I've never done a podcast before. Obviously, I've done videos and, and reviews and that type of thing, but I've never actually tried doing a podcast. I'm just going to upload it to YouTube. Obviously, there's going to be no screen, no intros or outros. Just something there to look at while you're watching the podcast. The idea being, uh, according to the internet, in 2021, the average commute to work it was 27 minutes long. So if you knock the seven minutes off and do a 20 minute podcast, it gives people enough time to get organised, listen to your podcast. When they get there, switch it off and get into work. So there we are. All I've done, I've written some random things on the back of an old razor box because I can't find my writing pad. And I just thought I'd go through them and give you my thoughts. You probably don't agree with them. You might just agree with them just the same. Hopefully it'll be a little bit funny when I get settled in and get organised. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It might be the first and last ever podcast and it might not even ever get onto YouTube. So the first thing I didn't write on the back of my razor box was a quote from Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain was a chef who sadly ended his own life because he was uh, upset about a lady that he no longer could be with. So he once said, eat at a local restaurant tonight, get the cream sauce, have a cold pint at four o'clock in, in a mostly empty bar, go somewhere you've never been, listen to someone you think may have nothing in common with you, order the steak rare, eat an oyster, have a negarini, have two, be open to a world where you may not understand or agree with the person next to you, but have a drink with them anyway. Eat slowly. Tip your server. Check in on your friends. Check in on yourself. But enjoy the ride. I actually liked Anthony Bourdain, but we're not here really to talk about him. I thought he was real sort of cool and collected and he got everything going on in his life. But you sort of realise that people are not as together as what you think. And sadly, he ended his life. But let's discuss what he wrote, or what he said, or when somebody else wrote. Eat at a local restaurant tonight. Sometimes I think you can walk past your local restaurant on your way into a city or a town and never actually try. Just think, oh, that's local. Same as drinking at your local pub. You go past it and go to the glitz and glamour what, in the town centre or city centre, and you don't actually realise what you've got yourself. If you eat at a local restaurant, it's going to be quieter and you can build up a rapport and you can find out something off the menu that you'd really, really like and they'd probably even tweak it to, to how you like it. But if you go into the themed restaurants and large places, they're not even going to be interested in you. You're just a number. Get the cream sauce. A lot of people probably haven't tried the cream sauce. I think by that he's trying to say, try something different, get the cream sauce. Try any sauce, really. It's really easy to go through your life and eat the same thing every time you go into a restaurant or into a cafe, because that's what you like. And you never try anything else just in case you waste your money. We've been quite lucky. I've travelled lots and lots of places in the world. And if I've ever, halfway through the holiday, thought, let's go into a McDonald's, 
you usually find out they're absolutely terrible and that's when you've wasted your money they're never as good as what they are the rare ones i have when i'm at home have a cold pint at four o'clock in a mostly empty bar if you get in there at four o'clock and you have a cold pint the rest of the people start to come in half past four or five o'clock when they're finishing work and you actually get a chance to watch a place fill up and now these bars are but you've seen it when it's quiet and you think it's not going to be any good but when you actually watch it fill up you see the different sorts of people coming in how vibrant these places can be we went in one in Prague in August and it, it was supposedly a social club it was very strange because you could still smoke in there well I'm not a smoker anymore but and another thing that sort of surprised you is how accurate it is in a bar from cigarette smoke when you're not used to smoking it anymore but it was a thriving place when we went in it was empty within an hour everybody started to come in they're all in their own little circles this guy was making us food bringing it over never charged a penny for any of these little things to eat it was just we d he didn't speak a word of english and we didn't speak a word of czech so it was one of a lot of nodding and that type of thing and it just made it really interesting if we'd have carried on going in, in the theme bars and places where all the tourists went we've never we would never have seen that side of uh, of czech life it was you know it was really good we went in there on the way back every single night we were there probably never go in there again we had a really good time go somewhere you've never been I think as I've got older you can get into a I'm talking about holiday time you can get into a, into a place where all you ever do is go back to the same place because you know it's going to be alright you know the guy behind the bar you know the people that own the property and it just gets very very safe in the end uh, and that's why you do it but sometimes you'll be sat there after about a week week and a half and you think do you know if I had to go home tomorrow it wouldn't bother me that much the reason being is because you've been some places too many times and what you're actually you're not doing a holiday you're doing two weeks in the life of in that country now if you lived there you'd be going about your normal day not trying to make it into a holiday so you'd just be doing your normal thing and you'd enjoy the style of life doing that but when you're actually on holiday sometimes you just need to go and do something completely different that you've never done before we'd say we've been quite lucky i've been around in florida you know on the rides in orlando i've driven down to beaches beautiful beautiful beaches on the gulf of mexico and seen that i've seen some amazing things but over the last eight to ten years i've actually got in the habit of just going to the same place each time uh, and that's sometimes as far as it goes listen to someone you think may have nothing you may not have nothing in common with let's just do that again listen to someone you think may have nothing in common with you i think that's true as you get older sometimes you have a fixed opinion and sometimes anything anybody else says back to you or contrary to what you think you just immediately think they're wrong and i think i myself do that sometimes you just think this is the way it is this is the way it's always been and this is the way it's going to be and you're not sort of open for anything else you don't really try and do something else order the steak rare I've actually ordered it as a tartar, so I've ordered it raw. I actually like steak tartar with lots of pepper. Some people, the idea of eating a raw steak would be uh, completely off their thing. People who order a, a fillet, well done, have just wasted all the money. They might as well have ordered a rump because it would taste just the same. Over Overcooked fillet steak. It's just a complete waste of money. I don't know if you could order a steak rare if you went into that. I think it would 
find it, I don't like it too rare to be honest, but I did I did enjoy the tartar with all the uh, pepper and stuff like that in it. Have a negaroni. Now I actually had to Google what a negaroni was. It's actually a cocktail with gin and I think citrus and Vermont. It gives you permission to have two. You could have three or four, couldn't you, really? Now, the one I actually, when as soon as I Googled it, it came up and one was in a can. And it was £20 and it looked like a 330ml cocktail. So it's not the cheapest one in the world. Presumably you can whip one up cheaper than that. But a Negroni, that's what it's called. So if you're ever in a bar and you're all inclusive, order a Negroni. And then have two. Be open to a world where you may not understand or agree with the person next to you, but have a drink with them anyway. I think, especially in the UK, when it got to uh, Brexit time, it got to the stage in the end where the whole country was in an absolute fury. And it still is in some ways. You know, you still get people saying the people that voted out are stupid. And the other people think the other ones were stupid. I think that's what we forget sometimes in our lifetime now. People are entitled to their opinion. And just because it's not the same as yours doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm very passionate about things. And, and that was one. I, I actually decided that it would be a good idea to leave. And when you were some people, if you mention that to them, say, well, it's all your fault then. It's still my opinion. I still don't really want to change it. I mean, in layman's terms, for for somebody, sort of what I do for a living, the only thing it makes difference it makes for me, really, or the only thing you can see, it just takes longer to get through the airport. So if it was only that, it would be a bit of a shame, wouldn't it? I, I, the reason I voted to do it, I didn't want to be, as I felt governed, by a, a different country but obviously the downside of that is travelling from country to country is now a lot more difficult and if you if you ever do get to the stage where you can go and live in a different country you've now got to apply for a visa and it all gets a bit complicated but, you know, people can tell you what to do whereas before you could just go and you could stay for as long as you like and to be really honest that suited me so Anyway, let's move on out of the way of that, because I've probably lost about 10 people listening already. Eat slowly. Now, I think that is brilliant on its own. When you, We all tend to walk around thinking we're that busy. And one of the basic functions, functions for a human being is you need to eat. Everybody needs to eat. We all need to go to the loo. We all need to take a shower and we all need to eat. But what you tend to do is you forget about that. You just get snack food and shove it down you. And your digestive system plays you up for the rest of the time. If you actually could sit there, eat slowly and look around in the situation that you're in, you tend to enjoy your food a lot more than what you do and your body would feel better as well. Check in on your friends. Especially when you get to my age group. I'm 57 years old and my dad once said, all of a sudden, boy, they start going out of your stable. Uh, and I've got to the age now where that's what they're doing. A friend of mine, he passed the other week. Another friend of mine, he passed last week. You don't tend, you don't tend when you get to my age group to bother with any other, anybody else. You have your, your wife and your family. I've got certain friends who I chat to and stuff like that, and I go away with every now and again. But some people get left behind, especially if they move away from where you are. I don't really have the time to go and, and find them, you know, and, and and enjoy the time that you used to do with them. But I think if you can check in on friends, even if it's only a Facebook messenger group, I think it's a good idea because one day you'll send one and they don't and they don't get back to you and you find out they've passed away. Tip your server. That's more of a, I think if you go into a, uh, into a restaurant, 
then you've had really good service and you've really enjoyed your food. Why not leave a gratuity? The next time you go, they're going to be pleased to see you more than anybody else. We always tip. We always tip when we've eaten. And we always, if it's just a drink, we usually leave, you know, just for change. Um, but if we've eaten anything, we, we usually decide what we're going to leave. And we usually leave a tenner if we've had lunch, if it's a decent lunch. And somebody's been really nice. On the flip side of that, though, if if we've had a terrible time, we don't even leave anything. Not anymore. Once upon a time, you felt obliged to. But they give you crap food and crap service. And why should you leave them anymore? That's the way we look at it. Check in on yourself. I don't really know what you would do to check in on yourself. I think you can check yourself. Have a word with yourself sometimes. I think with that, that probably just means you get busy in your life. And you keep rushing about. And sometimes you forget about yourself. You remember everybody else, but you forget about yourself. You just get wound up in this thing where you've got to make money. And you've got to just keep going through in life. Bills are going up. This is bad. That's wrong. Cars playing up. Oh. And you just get yourself into a mental state where all, all you want to do is just keep making money and, and you don't sit back and take time to enjoy anything because you're just too busy in the rat race. Another one, it, I think if I was going to write something, don't watch the news. If you watch the news, they'll tell you how bad everything is. And you listen away, and by the time you've watched the 15 minute broadcast, you've got another 10 things to worry about. Don't change anything in your life, because a lot of these things are, are miles away in different countries. And if you didn't know about them, they would have still happened, but you wouldn't be worried about them. But that's just that's just the way it is. Things bad things happen, and sometimes you don't need to know, because bad things are happening to you, and you just need to move on in your life and try and deal with that, rather than worrying about something that's happening a zillion miles away, the other side of the world. Anyway, that's it. That's my short podcast. I hope we've done twenty minutes because I haven't really measured it, but. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please let me know. If you don't think podcasting's for me, let me know that as well. It's up to you. The other thing is, though, if I enjoy it and you don't enjoy it, you ain't going to listen. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.